a graph is defined as g is equal to v comma e where v is a set of vertices and e is a set of edges that connect the vertices so basically a vertex is defined as a terminal point or an intersection point and an edge is uh, defined as the link between nodes so we'll just see a few example of graphs now so this is an example where the set of vertices v is 1 comma 2 and the set of edge is e1 so this is a graph uh, a null graph is a graph with no vertex and obviously since edge connects vertices no edges also so for all practical purposes we will not be uh, handling null graphs for problems or any theorem and an empty graph is a graph with no edge so there might be vertices in an empty graph but there will not be any edge so basically a null graph is definitely an empty graph and the converse is not true so an example of an empty graph is so the set of vertices will be and the set of edges null so this is an empty graph and a null graph is just the set of vertices is equal to null and the set of edges is also equal to null a simple graph a graph g with no self loops or parallel edge is known as a simple graph so let's see what a self loop is so given a vertex 1 if there is an edge from 1 to 1 it's known as a self loop so in a simple graph such self loops should not exist similarly a parallel edge is let's say there are two vertices 1 and 2 if there are two different edges between 1 and 2 that is a parallel edge so basically a simple graph should not have this or this so an example of a simple graph is this is an example of a simple graph A multigraph is the opposite of a simple graph. A graph G which contains self loops or a parallel edge is a multigraph. Uh, so, an example of a multigraph is so, this is an example of a multigraph because it has a self loop from 1 to 1 and it has parallel edges between 2 and 3. A complete graph so a simple graph G with all possible edges that is every pair of nodes is connected by an edge so this complete graph is notated using capital K so let's just see examples of K2 K3 etc K2 is a complete graph with two vertices so there are two vertices and since it's a simple graph it cannot have a self loop and it cannot have parallel edges so the only possible edge is an edge between 1 and 2 so every pair of nodes is connected with an edge so let's go see k3 so k3 has three vertices 1 2 is connected with one edge 1 3 is connected with one edge and 2 3 is connected with one edge so this is a complete graph with three vertices. Next we'll look at a lemma which will be very useful in a lot of problems and proofs in graph theory known as the handshaking lemma. So the handshaking lemma states that the sum of the degrees of a graph is twice the number of edges. So it is very intuitive. We know that every edge connects two different vertices so basically this edge adds one to this degree this vertex's degree and one to this vertex's degree so let's take an example let's take a graph so the degree of this is one two three the degree of this is two the degree of this is one two three and the degree of this is two so the sum of degrees is three plus three six plus 2 8 plus 2 10 sum of degrees is equal to 10 we see that 1 2 3 4 5 edges are there 
So any graph you take, the sum of degrees will be twice the number of edges because each edge contributes to one degree of two different vertices.